Oh boy, now Garrus is looking at this. Oh, look here, look whose name is now on the wall. Thane. Now, now Thane's name is there. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense yeah. there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Just a little note. Ashley actually, you actually could have killed Ashley in that little scene, that little confrontation. She actually, you actually could have shot her. Honestly, no. I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, no. does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out yeah. for us. Same what? This was his fight Same too. as Morden and Thane. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Speaking of which, there she is. Hey, Ash. Good to see you. Good to That's see you. That's all you have to say right now? Come on. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. You actually, actually, you guys mi just missed it before I started recording. Trainer said that Chocolus wanted to talk to me. Hey, hey, Chocolus. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest uh -oh. you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. Huh. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. Huh. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. So, basically, we got Precisely. just trade. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Yeah, but, uh, just switch the supplies for those... <laughs> to those who... who uh, it would have be more appropriate for. But why me? Why can't you do it? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't Aww. trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could Aww. persuade Aww, they have no reason to distrust you. But I'll do it right away. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. Another reason to go back to the Citadel. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medics. Nice. All right, man. We, we're good. We spend a ton of time on the Citadel. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal Oh, staff. really? And it's far too risky after Udina's That's crew. what she's uh, thinking Postpone about? those deployments. Huh. At once. Ooh, Liara, you are a devious one. Put your own agents in, in, the, in the Council staff. Now that is, that is clever. An audio recording from Councillor Juger's Senate office. The emergency fund's gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers got here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for. What about the military? They left an hour ago. They said they said said they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Did they? Yes, sir. Here. This is a passkey, sir? And an inventory? Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of this city senate to seize any and all EZO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for our citizens on any available ships. These look like private stockpiles. Senate member, member stockpiles. I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. Huh. Hello again. Hello to you. Please enjoy your Thank day. You, Cliff. Let's see. Come on, load. There we go. 
Ah, it freaks me out every time it does that. <laughs> One second, I think the system is going to freeze on me. The next... Oh, no, it's just loading. Come on. There we go. Always happens when I go when I go down here to engineering. Every time. Hello, Javik. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a oh, choice. Ho, ho, ho. Eat their own flesh. Oh starve. man, you harsh, Javik. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. <laughs> and if the other human had not seen reason. Her death would be certain whoa, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime. Oh, cool. When it is not infested with traitors. <laughs> I have heard about the Kailen human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I will enjoy killing most. Yep. Yes? Ah, just want to know if you have anything to say. What? Kenneth isn't saying something completely stupid? The, the, oh my gosh, this is a miracle! Shepard. My board is green. Oh, this is the, like the first time I've ever walked in and Kenneth isn't saying something completely idiotic. Oh, wait, I just remembered. <laughs> Some of these people actually wanted to talk to me in my cabin. Hmm. I was about to go go into Diana's room and then I remembered oh that's right she wants to talk interview me in my cabin <laughs> all right I appreciate look at look at the amount of fish I have in my aquarium and now I have jellyfish in there Hi, fishies. Feed the fishies. You see those little jellyfish in there? So cute. Hi, Max. Give me a squeak. Squeak. <laughs> oh, it looks like I... Maybe a couple more models and you still need to get. Alright, let's, uh... Intercom. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like really, to Really, Shepard? You have a few hours free? Really? <laughs> Your cabin is gorgeous. You've been up here before, Trainer. It's smaller than this. <laughs> well, Commander, ready to play? Huh. Play? I picked up a chessboard. Oh, you want to play chess, huh? Okay. Interface. Not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less okay. space. Okay. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interesting. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. This is a trap, you're, isn't it? You're playing me, aren't I'm just you? just a simple lab scientist, Commander. Oh, sure don't play the innocent. Oh, I'm just a simple little in. lab scientist. Nothing to fear. No, don't you be don't you be playing that card. No way. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> She's schooling him. <laughs> My wife, Commander. <laughs> It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my oh, regime. Oh my goodness, listen to in her. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square She's grid. She's his face in it. You know what I mean. <laughs> the pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard... And a Krogan. Uh, One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Oh, I get it. That's me. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punching. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, huh. trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. 
Absolutely. Huh. Alright, let's invite Diana for her interview. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ugh, reporters. Ready for a chat, Commander? <laughs> I'm ready. Is that really the only outfit you wear or have Commander, on this ship? It's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere well, safe? Well, the point is that they tried, but they failed. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They failed as many times as they've mm -hmm. succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. Nah, the Anderson was the true counselor. The destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to you last? You can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Uh -huh. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus Oh ties. boy, here we go. Thanks for your time, Commander. Oh, that this went by Diana fast. Allers for Battle Space. <laughs> Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Whoa. You came out a little strong there, Allers. But uh, I'm sorry. I'm already seeing someone. So uh, let's keep this professional, shall we? I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. <laughs> me and my big That's mouth. That's right. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Yeah, I'd, I'd say you should. Look, what's the camera doing getting in my face like that? Get out of here. See that? The camera got right in my face. It's like I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, let's talk, see what James wants to talk to me about. I want to talk privately. On my way. Come on up, pretty prince. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> Good, so James. I'm going to do another, you, I know what you did good, last summer good. movie, I wanted to know what you thought about it. <laughs> what you think? Wow. <laughs> so this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Or when you do an act, you when you're part of an actual, actual good movie. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight where it's nah, I like anymore. him. I'm not going to trash him. I like him. He's you a good. You just come good. up here to make he's fun okay. of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I wanted to get your opinion on something. <laughs> Chief, <laughs> what did you do when they asked you to join the? <laughs> what do you th program? What do you think about them trying I mean, to get some Hispanics in this in this series? Did you think about it before accepting? Because I because I think it's a good idea. <laughs> hmm. Well, for a decision like that, James, I mean, you know, it's kind of similar to uh, when you're going to make a decision about like maybe like. Kind of similar to when, where you're going to decide of where you're going to go to college. It's, it's, it, none of those are no-brainers. You, you got to think about it. It requires a lot of thought, a lot of uh, deliberation. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 combination. Really? That's awesome. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Yeah, that's that's. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just. What is it? Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at, and not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Wow. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You're doubting yourself. Okay, I think it's time for you to fess up. You keep hinting at that. I think it's time for you to tell me the truth. What exactly happened that, that's causing you to feel like you don't deserve this? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. 
but they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. Wow. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Yeah, but you still did the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy yep, one. Yep, that's true. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Heck yes, I do. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that mm -hmm. opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. Good. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. My of lips are not. sealed. Gracias. De nada. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> now, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Yeah, it's I'm not living the pl soft, plushy lifestyle up here. You know, James, he's, he's all right. He's, he's, a, he's cool. You know, I love the, I love the whole idea that they, that they want to include a Hispanic. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, uh, he's got the unfortunate, um, what's the proper word? The unfortunate position of being a character that's just now introduced to us in this series and because you feel like you don't want to bother taking him with you because you want to be able to take the people that you have known since the first game you know for the first from the first two games you're more familiar with them you you like them more you've gotten to know them for as opposed to him he just got here so so why should we care that much about taking him with us i mean i didn't like the fact that he like he knew well what the are you seeing these are you seeing these fish? <laughs> Look at these fish. This is hilarious. Those fish are bugging out. That fish is not even in the aquarium. He's stuck there in the wall. <laughs> and this one fish is... <laughs> I've never seen that before. That is a whole... That is hysterical. This is hilarious. The glitched out fish. <laughs> this is a first. This is a first for me. I've never seen that before. <laughs> well, I think that's a proper way to end this part. <laughs>